Dylan's Amazing Dinosaurs, the Triceratops, by E.T. Harper and Dan Taylor. Dylan had an incredible treehouse. It was full of fantastic things, and the most fantastic of all were Grandpa's fossils, Magic Dinosaur Journal, and Wings, Dylan's toy pterodactyl. He came to life whenever Dylan opened the journal and they flew off on amazing adventures together to make awesome dinosaur discoveries. I can't wait to find out today's missing dino fact, said Dylan, flicking through the journal. Fact file, name, tri meaning tree and keratops meaning horn face, diet, plants. Particularly large, leafy, fern-like plants. Habitat. Forests and grassy plains. Unusual feature. Huge frill around its head. Two large horns and one small horn on its snout. Length of large horns. Triceratops. Got it, wings! Dylan exclaimed. Today's dino mission is to measure the Triceratops' large horns. As soon as he heard the words Dino Mission, wings came to life and sprang off the shelf. Let's go, let's soar, off to the land where the dinosaurs roar, Dylan shouted as they took off from the treehouse deck. As soon as they reached Roar Island, Dylan scanned the valley below through his binoculars. Look, he called to wings, I've spotted a triceratops. Let's fly down and take a closer look. Dylan slid off wings as they landed near the dino. As he tiptoed towards it, Dylan realised why they could get so close. You clever pterodactyl, said Dylan, seeing the triceratops' closed eyes. I can measure its horn while it's fast asleep, and it will never even know we were here. Dylan tried to measure the Triceratops' horn from the ground. It's no good, he said to himself. I can't do it. I'll have to get up there. Treading gently, he climbed on to the great beast's bony frill. He carefully stretched out along the horn. It was almost as long as him. Wow, said Dylan. I'm taller than a Triceratops' horn. And... Dino mission was done in record time. Easiest discovery ever, eh, Wings? Dylan glanced around for his prehistoric pal. Suddenly, he felt an almighty shudder beneath him. And then... The enormous Triceratops stood up. Clinging on with all his might, Dylan dared himself to open one eye and look down. Instantly, he realised why wings had disappeared. A herd of velociraptors had surrounded the sleeping triceratops, their snarling jaws ready to attack. Wings! Help me! Dylan yelled. The triceratops bellowed and charged at the fierce hunters. Suddenly, it tossed its head, flinging Dylan high into the air. Ah! Dylan cried, spinning and somersaulting as he fell towards the ground. Dylan braced himself for a bumpy landing, but wings swooped down from the safety of a tree and caught him just in time. Phew! Dylan exclaimed, patting his trusty friend. They watched from above as the Triceratops used its huge frill and massive horns bash away one velociraptor after another. Why do they keep coming back? Dylan asked. Then he spotted a huge nest behind the triceratops. That's it, Dylan exclaimed. The velociraptors want to eat the triceratops' eggs. One of the sneaky predators had grabbed an egg. It's got one, Dylan yelped. Wings, we have to save it. 
They chased the raptor until it stopped at the top of a rocky slope. It's going to crack the egg open and eat it, Dylan gasped. Oi, pointy teeth, he yelled, coming up with a plan in record time. Over here. The velociraptor heard his shouting and let the egg go. Wings swooped low to the ground. Dylan jumped off and grabbed the rolling egg. I can't believe that worked. It was so easy, said Dylan. But he'd spoken too soon. From behind the rocks, gnashing jaws approached Dylan in every direction. He was surrounded. He hadn't just distracted the dino. He had caught the attention of all the velociraptors. Hugging the egg tighter, Dylan called desperately for wings. Wings nosedived towards Dylan and flew him away, high above the snarling dinosaurs. Two rescues in one day, Dylan said. Thanks, Wings. Now, we just need to return this egg. But how? If I get too close to that triceratops, she'll toss me like a pancake. Then, Dylan noticed the hill behind the nest. That velociraptor has given me an idea. Said, Let's fly closer, Wings. Wings flew low so Dylan could roll the egg gently downhill. It landed with a quiet bump next to the others in the nest. Bye, little egg, Dylan called. Hope you grow up to be as strong as your mum. As he spoke, the triceratops turned and let out a roar. Hey, Wings, I think she's trying to thank you, said Dylan, grinning. But let's not hang around to find out. After tumbling back into the treehouse, Dylan ran to measure himself on his height chart. So, the triceratops' horn was one metre long, he said. That's as tall as my forehead. Wowzers! Dylan scribbled the incredible fact into the dino journal as his stomach rumbled. Hope it's not scrambled eggs for tea, laughed Dylan. The end.